How's everybody doing? This is uh, William with uh, Will Brown's Pressure Washing LLC. I'm um, just going to make a quick video uh, about my trailer build. Uh, I've, I've seen a lot of people ask, and you know, how do you set your trailer up? Uh, I'll show you what I have, how I set it up, why I set up that way, um, how it works for me. I'm um, just a single man operation, um, so it works well uh, the way I got it set up, and I'll just go over some of the stuff and why I have it where it's at and stuff. So just bear with me. So back here, I just got some two inch PVC pipe, kind of keep my wands in, put a little pad right there. So when it's driving down the road, it's not banging. This one I'm not too concerned about. Um, keep a little extra angle nozzle on there. Uh, this one's pre-piped with uh, quick connect here. So I can just use it as a pistol or with an extension wad. And on the end of that, I have a turbo nozzle. Uh, next to it, I just got a little home series hose reel with a 100 foot zero G supply line uh, with a quick connect with a shutoff on it that I hook up onto this. So I'll pull up, hook it to that, hook it to the house, turn it on, boom. Now below that, uh, I have a Hudson float valve into it, so it'll shut off. And then next to it, as far as hose reels, I have 250 feet of high pressure hose uh, on a 450 reel, general pump. And then above that, I have a 300 foot general pump with 200 feet of half inch ID for my soft washing system. Now, I know I've missed my nozzle, I'm still waiting for a couple of parts to come in. Uh, I think they're arriving today, so I'll have this finished out, but I got it all plumbed in. Now off of that, I have this quick connect on here so I can come up, quickly hook it up to my, my 35 gallon tank and pump. And it also allows it to uh, bleed off the air from the pump a little bit quicker than pushing through all this. And uh, off of that, <clears throat> on my pressure line I have it coming in I have a bypass and then my siphon so for my downstreaming so with an open like this I bypass this it comes around and I can use full flow for my surface cleaner or I can shut it and it bypasses this so now it comes straight in and I can pull my soap or crack it back open uh, it comes in and I have a Siamese connection, comes in, goes around to one pump and the other one, if you can see right there, comes around into this pump. Over here I have a 4,000 four gallon general pump on a Predator motor. It's a 13 horsepower 420 series, CC series or whatever. Uh, it does a job, does it great. I got it wired in with the autos, with the starter and the battery here. Um, works great. Uh, this is a uh, RSV 4G40. It's a Reverbi pump, I believe I'm saying it right. It's the Italian pump, good pump. And then it was all one kit when I bought it. And a Briggs and Strat 2100 series. Also a 420 seri uh, CC series engine. Pull start only, no electric start. So it does, I don't use it a whole lot. I have a Siamese to where I can just use one or the other and or I can run them both and use my surface cleaner. Uh, the surface cleaner I have mounted up here. It's a 16 inch whisper wash. And I had to put some weights on it to hold it down because I put um, put the eight gallon a minute or four gallon a minute per head. So it flows eight gallons a minute out of it and it has a lot of pressure. So I had to put some weight on it to, to keep it held down. I got this squeegee on here for some driveway sometimes. I got some spots where I can just push some you know, heavy debris off with or uh, some staining water. Um, don't really use it a whole lot, but it's there if I need it. Got my gas can. Uh, these barrels are five gallon buckets that I use. One I put my, my mix in or my batch. Actually, 
not my badge. I said it wrong. Um, I put just a SH and my surfactant in it, and then it siphons into it. Uh, this I keep fresh water in, so when I'm done at a job site or enough for the day, I switch it over to here. With my J-Rod, I keep my soap tip on, I draw it up, and I flush out my system and keeps fresh water in. It keeps it flush and keeps it lasting a little bit longer. I have a water-fed feed coming out of this. This is three-quarter lines. You got three-quarter inch lines into uh, general pump filters on each line that goes to each pump. So this one comes out, goes around, goes to that pump. This one comes around, comes around and comes into my general pump. And then this one has a bypass built into it. And what I've done is I've taken it and I've plugged it here, came around and plumbed it up into this T which then goes over, if you can see it. Let me see if I can get a better shot of it. Yeah, it goes into my tank. So I can have, when it's in bypass mode, it just moves around. I had a second one up because I thought this one had a bypass in it, uh, but it doesn't. So I thought about getting another pump, but I'm not. I think I'm just going to do away with this one, a uh, whole unit all together, and I'm going to get an eight gallon minute um, skid unit belt driven uh, and put in its place right there I think the way I've measured it it should fit if not I could rearrange it's not a big deal I uh, carry some cones with me in case I have my lines run across like a sidewalk I can put them out or if I'm on a roadway I can set them out just a little bit of safety and then a 16 foot ladder with my stands off so I'm not putting a lot of pressure on gutters and stuff like that so this is a 5x8 trailer. I got it at Lowe's. Um, I think it was 650 bucks. Oh, one thing. Also, I put in this little bleed off. So when I'm done at a job site, I can open this up. I can rinse my hands. I can rinse tools. I can flush something. I can refill this bucket if I need to. And just sit it right here. And this will come over. Like so. And then flow into it. Or if I just need to drain my tank. Um... For hauling down a road I try not to haul water in it um, I just the, the trailers just not rated for that and I don't have the the means right now to get a big big trailer nor do I have a big big vehicle to pull it <laughs> it's a just a Jeep right now but it does a job um, it works great uh, serves its purpose it makes money uh, I think that's what we're all we get into the business for is uh, to make money and uh, it's efficient for me. I can just pull up, pull my line off, hook it up, hook it to there, crank the water on at the house, and start filling my tank. Come over here, unlock it, roll my line out, grab my nozzle, which I have another nozzle in the car. I keep it in there, it's a little bit nicer. Uh, it's just a pistol grip. Uh, something to easy pull trigger. But hook it up, it's already got my J-Rod tip on it, and then boom. Pull it around the house as far as I need to go and use that with this the way it gets set up is I can wrap all the way around the house and I try to do that wrap all the way around the house come back to the corner start there apply and do my cleaning and then come back and do my rinse by the time I get done it's, it's ready to go so it, it works out as a process is there a more efficient way probably a little bit better way probably but uh, you know from what I've learned and seen and uh, researched and done on hand out in the field it works for me it works great so if you had any ideals or or you know wondering what you could do for your setup you know i hope this helps like i said it's probably not the best setup but it works for me it's a clean setup um in a sense that everything's kind of got a good place for it it functions well uh, you probably noticed this mat here i put this mat here so these weren't laying and this is not on this metal grate so i got it laying there so it's not rubbing against that metal grate from the vibration it can it will rupture a line i have lost a line because of that um so once again learning process but yep that's it man uh you know i hope uh this helps somebody um with ideals or maybe a different layout but it works great and uh thank you for watching